Hey there, Kara from Karen Co Creative here, back with another little tutorial. And again, I am talking about Divi today. Um, I have one other video about Divi right now talking about how I think it's a really great theme for people who are looking to start out and DIY a website. It's very versatile. There's lots of different demo content and it's really easy to install as opposed to some of the other themes I've seen out there. Um, it also has tons of documentation. Um, no one may see this video because there are so many other YouTube videos about Divi already out there. Um, but this is going to be a quick little tutorial about the Divi Builder. So I'm going to take you over my shoulder and just show you sort of what's possible and the basics of how to use it. So I'll make myself smaller. All right. So this is um, one of my business sites. It's on the Divi theme. So when you're looking at the front end of the site, all you need to do to use the Builder is hit Enable Visual Builder. Let's wait for it to load. And again, because of the recording software, it may be a little slow, but it shouldn't be this slow for you. All right. So you see all of these things when you hover, you get all of these options. Um, this is the Visual Builder. You can also, if you're a little more... Um, I don't know what the word is. If you have more of like an engineering type of brain, let me myself out of the way, you can put the modules in this mode. And if you use the back end Divi build, this is what it will look like. So this is how you see all the, the rows. So basically the blue is the main content frame. Then within that, you can have several of these rows. And then these gray things are the individual elements. This one is orange because um, I think, oh, because I made it, it's a thing you can duplicate and save um, elements. So that's why that row is orange. Um, also full width mo modules might be like that. Um, but you see here, these are all the different modules. I personally don't use it this way because my brain wants to see things. So I'm gonna put it back in the other method. Give it a second. All right. So here we have it. So basically if you're starting from scratch, you'll have a blank page and you'll be given options to add things. So if I wanna add a row, I'm gonna go ahead and add a new row, say a regular row. And now I have the option of selecting how many sections are in this row. So let's say I wanna make a section like this one that's here with an image and text. I'm gonna select this one. And here it already pulls up and it says, what do you wanna have here? So image. It's a nice little placeholder thing for you, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. If you don't have an image in here that you want, you would just use the upholder. So this is actually some demo content I had in there before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. And then here I can put text like this. And it opens up this, you can't edit it right on the screen. This sometimes is a little bit easier to work with and you can make it bigger. Um, so here, and I'm just gonna pull up a lorem ipsum. Here we go. So I'm just gonna do pull this, add this. And let's say I wanna make this now a different thing to have it st stand out. I can make this into heading two. Now we'll see what that looks like. Perfect. And so let's see, this, this paragraph is hanging over. So say I wanna now edit this text, I can just go ahead and delete this here without opening up the whole thing. And let's say I wanna add a button. There's two ways I can do this. I wanna add a button that's gonna go beneath both of these elements. I would select this option and add a single row like this. If I want the button to be under here, I just hover and get one of these gray things. So here, and I'll type in button. And there's lots of ways to design buttons. So if you play around with this module, move myself out of the way, you're gonna get lots of options. I'm gonna make it smaller actually, so I can shift it over here. Um, so here, here's where I can change this to learn, learn more. This is where I would add in my link. And then all my design options are in here. So here I can decide if I want it center aligned, left aligned, right aligned. This is where I can change the text color. This is actually just if I want it to be dark or light. Um, down here for the button is where I can use custom styles. And here is where I can change the button text size. So make it smaller, button text color, button background. So let's say I wanted to add a background to the button. I can 
I mean, not that that looks good, but I could do that if I wanted to. Um, and you can change all sorts of things right in here um, and play around with this. And then the fun thing that I like about Divi, which is um, different from any other page builder I've worked with is, so this space here, there's a pretty big space, right? I can change that just by hovering and getting this little, the thing with the two arrows on one side um, in here where the gray thing comes up. See, I can just move it right up like that. Um, that's something that's not very common amongst themes and makes things very easy to work with. So this is, I mean, these are really the major elements you're going to have on any page. So let's say now, um, oh, for instance, so what I did with this page is you see there's different backgrounds, the sections. So now I have two sections, one on top of the other. So say I want to add now a background to this one, I can just go ahead and grab this background. And I can make this sort of a like gray to differentiate it. I can also grab a code and paste it in here if I have a specific color code I'm looking to add. So that's something I can do. Um, so let's say what else we want to do on this page. Let's say we want to have a form, like a contact form, something sign up. So this is a newsletter one, but let's say I just want to add a contact form on this page. I'd add here regular. We're going to say we'll do this one with one column. And here I can actually just contact form. Divi is a pretty good native form. Gives you lots of options. You can really add anything you want here. So this has name, email, message. Um, if I want to add a new field, you have field options that you could be an input field. You can ask for check boxes. You can do lots of things right here. It also has native to the form. Let's go back here to the form settings. You can say what email you want it to go to. So if you don't want to go to the admin email, say you want a form to go to a specific person, you can put in their email right here. Um, you can have the form redirect after they um, submit it. You can select this and have them redirect it. And here they actually have native spam protection. So you can add this basic CAPTCHA, which is a good option. And you'll see that's this math problem that's right here in the bottom um, to help you protect you from spam. And here in the design, you actually have all these things where you can play around with this. You can um, change the field background color, you can get crazy, make it blue. Um, and of course, you can always choose custom colors and other colors. So these are things you can all play with field. But basically, this is the um, just an overview of the Divi Builder. It really gives you all of the options. Um, newsletter, if you add a newsletter section, it gives you, um, oh, I did this one with code, but you can add it with, um, they have a newsletter thing. And call it email opt-in. Yes. And you can change the design of it, where you have the content. If you have the title on the top and the bottom below. Um, and here it allows you to connect your provider pretty easily. And it works with a number of ones natively. So all in all, very easy to use the um, theme, very easy to use Builder, and there's a lot of really great options for um, just making things easy and integrating things. So that's just a very quick overview of the Divi theme to sort of support why I think it's a great theme for people to use if they're looking to DIY, tons of materials out there and resources to work with it. Um, and I do have a course where you can go into much further detail if you wanna learn how to you know, really build out a full website, but hopefully this just shows you um, what's possible. All right. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week.